They want the empire to collapse the same way some hoped the republic would. Only this time our enemies aren't rebelling in protest of Senate representation, trade routes, or taxes. They're intent on sowing chaos, on bringing everything down. They have no agenda, political, religious, or any other, beyond a desire to end civilization as we know it. Orson Callan Krennic happy for the peace and the end to the fighting the rise of the empire brought after the Clone Wars had killed billions. The new government was welcomed by people all throughout a galaxy that was tired of the bloodshed. On the planet Pantora, citizens cheered as clone stormtroopers marched past them near an imperial informational station, where a message played announcing personal chain codes and new currency. By the time the people realized the tyranny they were celebrating, it would be too late, as Palpatine quickly used the initial wide support for his empire to spread its control. After the separatist droid army was promptly shut down, its navy was dismantled at locations across the galaxy such as the Bilbringi shipyards. However, Various droid models and separatist technology escaped imperial appropriation and managed to work their way onto the black market, with many modules taken from separatist frigates and destroyers, including pieces from Admiral Trench's warship, the Invincible. Despite separatist-era technology continuing to be used and appearing in locations such as the corporate sector, the Empire continued to root out remaining holdouts of the Confederacy four years after the Clone Wars while criminal organizations composed of repurposed battle droids such as the droid Gotra operated in Coruscant's underground. 